I'm going to take a look at the updates for the 100K portfolio in multi charts. As you know, in the 100K and $1 million portfolio, we removed some strategies and then added. We added some of the, uh, the strategies from the million dollar portfolio in the 100K portfolio. And so you see um, you see the strategies here. The first one is soybean mill swing. And load the performance summary here for this chart. And you see here are the uh, here's the strategy performance summary. Here, here are the three things to look at. Look at is the strategy performance summary, the equity curve. Close to close trade drawdown with the drawdown, and you see the drawdowns there, and um, the total trade analysis. You can see the total number of trades, average trade profit 121, fair balance between long and shorts. And so you can pause the video and look at each one of these as I click on them. So I'm just going to go over all of these. Um, these do not include slippage and commission. I just set these up in the charts, and we're looking at the raw data right now. And the, the uh, results in the spreadsheet, the format for the portfolios do include the slippage and commission. But right now, I've just set these up in multi-charts, and we're just looking at it uh, as it is. And that is soybean, sw soybean mill swing, uh, flash FX, JY, Japanese yen. And here is the performance summary for that. Um, this goes. This works back to about May of 2015. Some of these strategies have long histories. Some of them have short histories. And we balance the portfolio by... Including strategies that have um, that we've had for a while, along with strategies that um, are fairly new based on new patterns. This is a long-only strategy, and you see the equity curve for this. Here is the average trade or the total trade analysis. You can look at the average trade profit, 76.81, and from that you can glean uh, the slippage and commission number, and then go back and make a, an adjustment based on um, the total net profit as well, or it's included in the portfolio results. And so. That's Flash FXJY. Let's look at the Flash FX Euro currency. This is going back to May of 2015. Uh, here's the strategy performance summary. Here is the equity curve, close to close with drawdown. And here is the trade analysis. 73. Average trade profit is about the same as the Japanese yen, really close. And here is um, LVDTL or LVTDL, and here's the strategy performance summary. Here is the equity curve, and here is the total trade analysis: 49.62, right there at the minimum point that we like is right around 50. So. Um, we just updated the strategy. It was holding positions overnight. It actually does a little better if you do hold positions overnight, but there is no stop loss. And so we are just using the day trade version right now. Um, let's look at counter trend max YM. Here's counter trend max YM. Here's the strategy performance summary. This goes back to January 2016. Uh, we're focused on low volatility markets. Um, here is the equity curve. Low drawdown. Here's a total trade analysis. $69. Really good for the YM. Um, here is the um, kind of trend max e mini S&P. Here is the uh, total trade analysis. $82 average trade profit. It's good for a day trade strategy. Strategy performance summary back to January 2016. And here is the equity curve. It's sitting at equity peaks. Um, look at some of the recent trades. You can see why. Let's see. Next, let's look at Coffee Day Trader. See some of our recent trades there. Um, it's a short only strategy. Here's the equity curve. Let's look at it with the drawdown. The strategy performance summary. Here is the total trade analysis. $225 average trade profit. Let's look at coffee swing. It's coffee swing is long only. We're basically saying long trades. We're holding longer. Short trades we're getting out quicker. 172 average trade profit. Um, 39.6 since March of 08. Here is the equity curve. 
This is similar to soybean swing. This is mirror Himini S and P. And you see that the drawdown curve is getting smaller. Um, it's sometimes you get strategies that uh, go through the period where they work really well, and the drawdown curve gets narrower and narrower. Um, less less drawdown. It's this drawdown back here is bigger than this drawdown. And so you see, um, here's the strategy performance summary and the average trade profit is 57.08, ideal for a day trade strategy. Let's take a look at SR Counter Trend Crude Oil 2. This is a strategy that works well also on gold and silver and Brent. Here is the total trade analysis, $100 average trade profit. Strategy performance summary. And this is going back to 9-5-2006. Here is the uh, equity curve with the drawdown. So nice equity curve. Low drawdowns for crude oil. And the last one we're going to look at is... Tick count trend two since 2006. It's a counter trend strategy of tick count trend. And 98.1250. This is going back to 2006. Yeah, here's the equity curve, and here is the average trade profit of 74. And this has had some really nice recent trades. And you can see the nice short trades it's taken recently. So these are the 11 strategies in multi charts. If you have the multi chart 100k portfolio. Uh, you will be getting these updates as I've just set them up in this chart and updated the uh, power language code.